Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. Let's continue our shopping cart. So, so far we've got our site, we've got a products page, and we've got one product so far. Now, if we wanted to go to the checkout page, at the moment we don't have any uh, any product in our shopping cart. And it says, oops, there's nothing in your cart. If I want a different sort of message, I can customize that. This is going to be a bit technical but this is something that you can definitely do. We need to go back to the back end. So go back to your WordPress dashboard and everything that we can see and edit is found in a PHP file. Um, so we need to go first to the settings category, store category, and we've seen this before. These are the various uh, screens where we can make some quick changes to our cart. This more complicated stuff requires a few more steps. First go to the presentation tab and on the right side you might have noticed this but now we'll actually take a look at it. It says no theme files have been moved to your WordPress theme. WP eCommerce provides you the ability to move your theme files to a safe place for theme control. If you want to change the look of your site select the files you want to edit from the list and click the move button. This will copy the template files to your active WordPress theme. Well, what does that actually mean? If you want to change the different aspects of your shopping cart, they're all found in these PHP files. You'll notice something says, for example, cart widget, category list, uh, products page, shopping cart page. All right, so I want to edit my shopping cart page, specifically if my, if my page is empty. So select WPSC shopping cart page.php and click move template files. You'll get a message at the top that says thanks, the themes have been copied. Alright, so that means we can now go to the left menu under appearance editor. Under editors where we can change every aspect of our site, not just a shopping cart. But you'll see on the top right you have what theme you're working with, minus 2013, and all of the pieces of the theme are listed here. I can edit the 404 missing, uh, missing content page here, I can edit the author template, etc, etc, I can edit the footer of the site, it's all found here. Now, at the moment, if you scroll down, near the bottom you'll see WPSC shopping cart page .php. Click that, and that loads up in the editor a big scary screen full of PHP, CSS, HTML, and perhaps some JavaScript. So this is all that makes your shopping cart work. And it is a lot of text, a lot of code, and if you break something, meaning uh, you change one character in the code that will uh, basically destroy your whole site so you want to be careful with what you're doing here you do need some experience in uh, CSS HTML PHP and that sort of thing what I want to do is change this screen so that it no longer says oops there is nothing in your cart I want to say my own message so I see that there's a keyword of oops in my code I want to search so your web browser should give you the ability to search try control F or command F you get the pop-up screen here. What are you searching for? I'm going to search for the term oops. It's found one time in my shopping cart PHP file right here. That was relatively easy to find. So I see that the oops message is visible right there. So I can change that to say within these parentheses, within these quotes, or apostrophes actually, uh, I can say, uh, please add something to your cart. So I'm making sure that what I typed are within these, is within these apostrophes. And if you can read a little bit of code, it says WPSC cart item count less than one. If there is less than one item in your cart, meaning zero, if there are no items in your cart, then display the following message. All right, um, you make a change there, and then at the bottom, make sure you click Update File. This is going to make changes to the theme. If we go back to the front end and refresh, 
you may or may not get an update right away. In my case, I don't have the updated text displayed yet, but I know I changed the right file. What's going on? Well, here's what's going on. The theme cache might need to be flushed. Well, what does that mean? We need to reload the files that make up the theme. In order to do that, we need to dump the old files. So those still might be in memory. So here's how we do that. Go to Settings, Store. We're going back to the settings of our plugin. Go back to Presentation. We saw this screen a little while ago, the Advanced Theme Settings. And notice now it says, some, some theme files have been moved to your WordPress folder. OK. And then it lists which one. There it is. Further down, past the move template files, past backup, you'll see flush theme cache. If you move your files in some other way, for example, FTP, you may need to click the flush cache. This will refresh the locations WordPress looks for your templates. We didn't move anything via FTP, but we did make some changes that WordPress is not noticing. So we'll flush the theme. We go back to the front end, refresh. And now it shows our new text. Please add something to your cart. So this is how you would edit your all your aspects of your WordPress theme. Uh, for example, um, uh, this specifically all aspects of your shopping cart. For example, if we now look at transaction results, sorry, your transaction was not accepted. Well, we can edit that the same way as before. We need to ch uh, copy over the um, the PHP file and then edit it and perhaps flush the cache. So let's give that one more try. I want to change the transaction results screen. All the screens are found here under presentation. Transaction results near the bottom. So select WPSC transaction results.php. Select to move template files. You, see, you should see a successful message. Back to Appearance Editor. Uh, verify that we're in the in the active theme. At the bottom, you should see then WPSC transaction results. It's in alphabetical order. Select that. And now here's everything related to editing that particular uh, page. This gets a little more complicated because now it's dealing with a PHP command. It's not that straight code as before. Um, so I'm showing you here that sometimes this is not as straightforward as it could be. But you do have the capability to change every aspect of your shopping cart plugin or your whole theme in general. If you want to change background colors, rollover colors, all of that stuff that's found again within this appearance editor. And oftentimes you're going to be editing this the style.css file. In our case here, here's all of the aspects of our 2013 theme and it's a lot of stuff. But it's all CSS, it's all editable, and once you make a change, you update and you get an updated website. So come back on our next video to check out more things that we can do with our shopping cart.